friends, and welcome back to PE Workouts with Coach R. Um, today we're going to be doing some yoga. Remember I told you last time we needed a mat. I got a towel, I have a mat, but <clears throat> just to show you, you could use a towel. I'm not going to be doing anything on the ground this time. It's just going to be a little basic yoga today. Um, next time maybe we'll be doing a little more yoga and we'll be more uh, on the ground. Um, so um, later in the future, we'll be doing yoga on a mat. So if you can get a hold of one of those, great. Okay. Um, after we've done our yoga, we're going to do a little soccer uh, activity. And so let's get started. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our feet together. We're going to go down. We're going to cross our arms. We're going to go down. We're going to just relax your body. You're going to breathe, focus on your breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, and what I want you to do is if you can see my toes, I'm lifting them, so I'm putting my weight to the back of my feet. And then I'm gonna rock them forward. Not lifting your heels, but uh, leaning forward and putting your weight forward. And back. And forward. And back. And forward. Back. And forward. We're going to be doing just like yourself hang there for a second. We're going to be doing some balance exercises today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do mountain pose. And in mountain pose, you're going to put your hands out in front of you. Uh, palms forward. Pretend that there's a string pulling you up straight ahead. Take some deep breaths. Go into 
Ancestral Warrior Three. And put your feet together. And put your palms <coughs> together. You can point them, have a little pointer. And when your feet are parallel, you're gonna pull your hands out. And you're going to lift your foot as high as you can. Try to go as far as you can and hold it. Your knees are bent. Get out of the pose, don't worry about it. Jump back in, okay? And we're gonna reverse it, sit, put your hands out, and you're going to bring your foot up, and you're gonna hold it. If you can go up higher, you can go up higher. If you fall, come back in. poses we just held for about 10 to 15 seconds just to get us into yoga <clears throat> a little bit of balance um, next time we do yoga we're gonna be doing a little bit more of strength so we'll be doing a downward dog and an upward dog and into the warriors poses and things like that so if you want to look them up you can look them up and practice and try them before we do it uh, in the future, not next time, but in the future. Um, this was just basic yoga, just to get us going with a little bit of balance. Balance is really important for a lot of things. A lot of sports require a lot of balance. We talked about footwork last week. Um, balance is part of that, and so we want to really try to get our balance going. Um, we did do a lot of stretching today. Yoga is some stretching too. Uh, we'll be doing that uh, in the future as well. All right. Um, and so now we'll get into it. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that yoga workout. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get into our game. Uh, it's going to be a soccer type of game. Kind of see it set behind me. Um, we're going to take our soccer ball, which is a rolled up sock. It's the same sock I've been using as a bean bag, but I rolled it up more into a ball. So we're going to be kicking it. Find a line. I'm using two cones. I have a line in my tile where I can uh, set it up. The two cones or two cups will work. Um, over here, I have the cups that I'm going to use. I'm going to have to knock down. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can how, or how many I can knock down in one minute. Um, gives you a challenge. Maybe you can try and see how many you can knock down. Uh, if you are younger and maybe you're not that experienced in soccer, you can move your line up a little closer. If you are a good soccer player and you have lots of experience in soccer, maybe move your hand, your line back and give yourself a, you know, a challenge. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to stand here and we're going to kick the ball in those 
I'm going to use my towels so I can fall a little under, under the sofa. Um, and once I kick it, I can go retrieve it and bring it back of course, as quick as possible for one time. And then, so I'm going to see if you can make work out here too. Ready? Go! Oh, that's one. Now, it doesn't have to be knocked down. If I knock it off of its place, it's fine. Because sometimes the cups don't get knocked down. Inside today. Uh, as always, I look forward to seeing you again sometime. I miss you. And oh, almost forgot. For next time, for next time, you need to get your plates out that you colored, and you need to color one more plate of each color. So you have eight plates. You have two red, two yellow, two green, and two blue. Or just color the back, or if you don't have plates, you can uh, color half sheets of paper. Okay, just fold them in half, color them, you can turn and use the other half of the color. Um, but we're going to be do doing playing a game next time called Rubik's Cube. Alright, and next time is going to be a pretty tough workout, so be ready for that. Alright, see you next time.